So we have another TVC release here to look at, and this time it is Finn Starkiller base. Now, of course, the base of this figure was the Black Series uh, Finn that was put out back when they did three and three quarter inch Black Series. They were Walmart exclusives. It was that late 15, early 16. I think it was probably early 16. And um, they had these uh, fully articulated figures, and Finn was one of those. And I figured when they announced TVC, it, that was we're going to see those Black Series figures already released. And we've seen... Almost all of them. I'm trying to think of one that has not been released. And not one is coming to my mind. I'm sure there's one there, though. But Finn has been kind of a long time coming. Now, he's got the, the face paint update to actually get a vintage card. It's it's really nice to have a Finn figure. Um, you know, on a card, we, this is our first Finn on TBC. You know, as a main character from three movies, it's deserved. I know a lot of us would like to, I mean, he doesn't look much different than this in Last Jedi, but I think a lot of us would like to see a Finn and a Poe Dameron, really, from Rise of Skywalker. Well, those of us who want figures from that movie, but, you know, the, that would probably be more well-received than this one. But in the end, this is at least a new card for us. You see in the back, we get that. This is number 308. So let's open him up and uh, we'll compare him to the original here in just a minute. So here we have Finn, and that is definitely an update. Well, we'll, we'll compare here in a minute. But that face definitely looks better than what we originally had. Um, you know, I haven't looked at that figure in a long time, but looking back at this to see the full articulation that we get on it. I mean, obviously with Finn, he had the unfortunate deal of wearing his Stormtrooper bodysuit constantly underneath the jacket. And so he's just got this all black outfit underneath. He does have the white shoes. Those are Stormtrooper shoes, of course. And we see a little bit of, I guess it's supposed to be snow. If this is the Star Killer base version, I guess that's supposed to be snow. I always thought it was sand on the original version. But, you know, it's not an amazing, you know, revolutionary figure or anything. But it was a way that Hasbro was giving us fully articulated figures back in after the movie's release. You know, it's fun for me because this jacket specifically reminds me of going to Celebration Anaheim in 2015. And they had that display of props from um, uh, the upcoming movie there, of Force Awakens. And this jacket was one of them on display. And I remember they had a specific spot to attach the lightsaber and stuff like that. I was like, ooh. So I, I always remember that. And, and just the speculation of new Star Wars movie, what it's going to be, but... So, I mean, it's not a bad figure. It's not one that people were necessarily clamoring for. It's still nice to get. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully Finn sells better than Lando. Hopefully Finn sells better than the Rose. Um, and we get other Finns. I'd, I'd like to see, um, you know, the, the other ones. And I'm still surprised that, like, they didn't do the simple thing of doing Finn and Stormtrooper outfit and take that Stormtrooper, which we've had the, the First Order Stormtrooper on a uh, TBC card, and pop this Finn head on there, and then you get Stormtrooper, multi-articulated Finn. They did that in the, the 5 POA version, but they never got this one, so that'd be kind of cool. So next, we'll just go ahead and take a look and just kind of compare them to the original. So here you can see the original Finn right there, and this is the new one. They don't look a whole lot different, do they? Let's turn him so you can see his face a little bit better. Uh, and give you a really good look at the difference in the face. It doesn't look a whole lot different. It looks better, but you know, not by leaps and bounds. So I'm sure several people will feel like this is worth skipping, but I don't think you're going to see it in stores anyway. So there you go.